do web designers use Squarespace? Okay, so to talk about this question, there's a few ways to tackle this. What I'm gonna focus on is this. Many people who come from a web design background will look at Squarespace and only see limitations or see something they think is design-wise is too soft or, or not, what's the grade of it is too low to even begin with. Now, that's a fair analysis on one handle. If you're trying to design a very custom site or have certain looks and feels and animations and, and textures and, and site styles and all of that, and you're a web designer, well, there are a lot of tools and a lot of ways to build that out on your own. But on the other side of that, and this is really interesting because I'm actually very adamant about this. On the other side of that, let's take a step back. When you, as a kid, start to learn how to speak, you don't learn how to read first. You learn how to speak. And as you get better at speaking, you start to put sen like words together. Saying a few words, you start getting better at sentences. And as you get better at sentences, you get better at paragraphs and ideas. And it just continues to flow and flow from, from there. And then you begin to learn how to read. Now, you could say that's the normal process of, of a child. It's the level of adaptation that we have and all this stuff, whatever. <laughs> but in actuality, there's actually a lot of power in that system. There's a lot of power in that system because you're training your mind in a way, and I don't have the exact reference right now, but you're training your mind in a way that allows it to take things at certain stride. So get, getting a good grip on words and then going to reading has its own power as well. And this is where Squarespace is a great starting point. I never planned on being a web designer. I'm the last guy who would ever have thought, I'm gonna go to a code academy. That's not where I started. But when I was working in corporate America, or actually I started with a nonprofit, when I tried to build that first website, I just need to get something up. And that process of going from, I just want that there and that there, allowed me to learn all the hard pieces behind it with the code that help it to stand as, as I wanted it, right? And make it the way I wanted it. So do web designers use Squarespace? Many can, and many I think should. The best part about Squarespace to me in this case, with kind of this frame of mind in this context is this, Squarespace is built for the end user. So there's no selling point on that side of it for the client. Yes, they may want to sell, talk about features and other things, uh, let's not get into that right yet. The usability of Squarespace is so easy. Double click it, edit the text, press save, it's, it's refresh, done. Front end editor. So as you make the change, you see it happen. You'll see how it'll look. You'll see how it'll feel. And this is the best part. You design a beautiful website, you pass it to the client, and then you train them to manage it in the process. This is something that you can't get with all web platforms. You could get it with a lot more today, but you can't get it with all web platforms. So do web designers use Squarespace? There are many out there. And just like WordPress, WordPress was built in some ways to be simple, that the average user can just go in there and build their site. But Squarespace has a whole market and if you don't believe me, well, I could show you the payments, but it, there are so many different people willing and ready to pay for you to build their website for them. Whether it's $500, $1,500, or $15,000, there are a lot of people out there who are willing and ready to pay for sites on Squarespace. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you're looking for a specific tutorial, please check out our channel. And if you can't find it, let us know in the comments below. What do you need help with to develop your site to make it effective and better for all your users? Finally, sign up for our newsletter. Our newsletter is a great way to stay up to date with anything happening on Squarespace, new features, new tutorials that we post, new features for SEO or updates on SEO. SEO, any of that stuff that will help you be more effective, our newsletter is a great way to stay connected with that as updates come. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.